Anna Jane Joyner is an evangelical Christian. She's also a climate activist. And she's on a mission to bring these two worlds together. We're experiencing climate change in this very real, tangible way. Hi, um, I was wondering if Pastor Horgan is in? Today, Anna Jane is headed to Washington, D.C. to protest the construction of the Keystone XL Pipeline, a proposed 1,179-mile pipeline that would carry crude oil from Canada to refineries in the American Midwest and Gulf Coast. I'm really frustrated with the fossil fuel industry, blatantly contributing to the destruction of our planet. It's amazing to me that that isn't a criminal act. President Obama, I think his rhetoric is great and I have a lot of faith in him, but you know, we haven't seen that rhetoric turn into concrete, meaningful, comprehensive action. And I think the first thing that he could do to demonstrate that commitment is, is defeating the Keystone XL pipeline. I am here to join together with different environmental leaders and people impacted by the Keystone XL pipeline to elevate our voice by risking arrest in front of the White House. I was texting my dad this morning to let him know what I was up to. And the first thing he texted back was, well, that's stupid. We need that oil. You know, we need, we need oil. Why, do, why would we get oil from Saudi Arabia when we can get it from our neighbors in Canada? The group involved is not the normal hippie activist. And so that may, hopefully, that, that'll do the job to kind of set us apart Fingers crossed this is going to make a difference. We have the solutions to fight climate change. It's right here, it's right now. There'll be all kinds of people from the faith community who are here really to just bring that spiritual and moral voice to this issue. I'm trying to introduce myself. My name is Anna Jane. There's a um, reverend who did an Ash Wednesday um, prayer, which I was really grateful for because I was hoping to make it to church today and <laughs> wasn't sure if I was going to. a little bit nervous. I've never been arrested before for anything. When there is a great injustice and it's not being addressed, sometimes you have to take other approaches. And so I think if there's anything to risk arrest for, fighting climate change and protecting our planet is it for me.